Uh, welcome to Kitty Nero Diaries on the 6th of September. Welcome back if you've watched before and uh, welcome to the new subscribers of which there have been a few. Thank you very much. Anyway, the reason for topping and tailing this video is that I kind of lost track of what we were doing. It's been a very strange year as will become evident in this uh, video and we haven't done so many trips to the beach and I haven't charged 200% very often and I thought this was a good opportunity to do another a uh, range test or a, an efficiency test uh, because the car's now five and a half years old and it's done 107,000 kilometers so I, am I really using any range so anyway here we go this was um, oh gosh last weekend and uh, yeah um, I'll finish it off at the end and explain uh, what we found uh, on this trip uh, it's, uh, 31st of um, August um, Welcome to Kitty Nero Diaries on a very muggy, misty day. It's very warm, but uh, we're off to the Vendée for a few days. Um, it's 230 kilometres up there and uh, charged the car to 100%, which I haven't done for a while. And look what it's showing, 540 kilometres. Well, yeah, that's based on sort of local driving that we've done recently. Um, this is going to be some uh, regular kind of roads, but um, there's going to be some auto route as well where we'll be going faster. So we'll see what efficiency we get. 230 kilometers easily done within the range of the car. Um, yeah, 31st of August. So here we are on the um, A83, heading north <coughs> towards the Vendée coast. Um, so we charged to 100%, um, as I said, and uh, it was showing 540, 540 kilometres of range. Uh, we've just done 100 kilometres now, and it's saying 421. So, you know, we're doing 110 kilometers an hour on the auto route it's not that sunny but it's really warm and muggy so I've got the air conditioning on um, which does knock the range down a bit that's 25 degrees so yeah we've got 121 kilometers to get to our destination so comfortably you know two and a half hour um, well over 100 miles hasn't it. We've arrived at destination we're on 54 percent battery and there's 269 of range left so 269 plus 224 can't do that in my head while I'm sat here do that in a minute uh, 14 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometer uh, according to the efficiency and two hours 44 minutes of the car being powered on we just stopped for a wee and that's all. So we're here for a few days now. Uh, 1st of September and we had the most horrendous storm last night. Unbelievable. Um, and it's been chucking it down pretty much all day today. Um, so we got here yesterday um, just after lunch and we managed to get some swimming in. Um, Mrs. E. Nero's uh, daughter and family are spending a week here at this Euro camp and we thought we would join them uh, for a few days. Um, Mrs. E. Nero has not been well this year. She um, needs some serious repairs. Um, so she's having a hip replacement in about three weeks time. So we haven't really done as much traveling as we normally do, you know, days out to the beach and stuff because um, she's on crutches and in fact any distance uh, and we're using a wheelchair. So um this is a few days for her to catch up with uh, with with her daughter and her grandson um so that's great but anyway um used the car this morning and it was down to 50 percent and i thought ah yeah we're going back on tuesday afternoon got another doctor's appointment for mrs e nero so we've got to go back and um where charge map was telling me there were some charges in fact there was no there were no charges bad english there were no charges 
at the place they were saying. And it turns out actually that the charges are behind a barrier in one of these holiday camp places, which some of which have now closed because the school, the French schools go back tomorrow and, and a lot of things have closed. But I did notice that uh, just about uh, 400 meters from here, um, there, there was a charger, although it wouldn't work on the charge map card and I had to download an app. It's called EV Map and it uh, seems to work quite well um, if you're in France. I mean, I, it's a little bit like Zap Map, I think. And uh, it took me a little while to get it all set up, but it's charging now. And the interesting thing is, it's actually showing the state of charge, even though I'm not with the car. So it's it's uh, it's an AC charger. So I'm just going to leave it on there for about four, four and a half hours, get up to 80, 90 percent ready for us going home again on Tuesday. Um, but other than Tesla, I've never had a situation where I can actually monitor the charging of the car when I'm not with the car. But this this actually does that as you can see here it's shown me um, not the percentage state of charge but um, you know how many kilowatt hours are, I've got how long I've been plugged in uh, and the cost to me as you can see here so um, that's kind of interesting um, EV map it's called and uh, I just downloaded it with a QR code um, uh, I will be using the app again where the if if the need arises to do that and i can't use my charge map card for whatever reason anyway hope you found that interesting um horrible rainy day here so there's not much we can do really with mrs e nero not being that mobile anyway so uh for the whole trip the four days away we did 519 kilometers which is 322 miles um and uh, obviously we started with a full uh, battery which is uh, 64 kilowatt hours and I added 30.86 kilowatts at the charger and when we arrived home we were at 33 percent state of charge on the battery now I know the battery state of charge and the exact number of kilowatt hours you've got left isn't necessarily that accurate but it's all I had to go on and basically uh, 33 percent of the battery is 21.12 kilowatt hours so if you add 64 to 30.86 and then subtract 21.12 you come to the conclusion that over the 519 kilometers I'd use 73.74 kilowatt hours now in miles that works out at 4.36 miles per kilowatt hour now on the way back I did hammer it a bit we were doing 120 plus on the auto routes don't normally drive that fast i know you can go up to 130 but i uh, you know i'm the age i am and i'm just very happy sitting there 110 to 120 but i did push it a bit harder coming home uh, and uh, so yeah um so if you say that um we use 73.74 kilowatt hours to do 519 kilometers then uh, you can work it out proportionally that uh, a full charge of 64 kilowatt hours would give you 447 kilometers which is 279 miles which is strangely enough pretty much what the car was advertised at uh, when it was first sold um, new around about two, 279 miles on a summer's day now um, uh, uh, that's a lot less than the 540 my uh, kilometers that was being forecast on the GOM when we left but that's the difference between you know sort of pootling around locally for weeks and weeks and actually getting out on the dual carriageway and auto routes uh, in anger as it were to get somewhere that's quite a long way away anyway um, I hope you found that interesting uh, really appreciate comments and uh, so, yeah, we got a few tough weeks ahead of us, but uh, the weather there did brighten up and I did get to have a good walk along the beach. <laughs> anyway, uh, thanks for watching. Until the next time.